Fernando of Danilo Cabrera. 26 libras. En cruza blanca. El contendor Danilo Cuero Duro Cabrera. And he's well received. Cabrera. Coming off the exposure. On national television when he fared well, as he discussed earlier, against Barry McGuigan. And also the point that he has announced all over this island that he's come here to avenge Wilfredo Gomez's loss, which put a calculated 14 more people into the audience. <laughs> they have not exactly elbowed their way in here at the Hyrax Football Stadium. El campeón mundial, Peso Pluma, Asuma Nelson. Nelson. And out of Ghana. The WBC featherweight champion, Azuma Nelson, who weighed in at 125 and a half this morning. Cabrera at 125. Azuma Nelson, who says he admires Muhammad Ali and Jersey Joe Walcott, one-time heavyweight champ, respects them because he says they were smart fighters. And he feels the same way about Sugar Ray Leonard. He admires Leonard's intelligence and speed. Azuma Nelson has been nonstop pressure. Can be a, a physical powerhouse. Good jab, solid boxing skills. Danilo Cabrera. On the other hand, fool people with his strategy. Staying close to the hard-punching Barry McGuigan rather than run. And he backed up the champion. Uh, doing it on the inside with the pressure and the fact of the 14th round three powerful hooks by the and finally put Cabrera down with the fight eventually stopped. That's why we may see a very explosive finish because Cabrera is one of those kind of guys that just doesn't go back. He is convinced he can come and lay it out with a champion as we have seen. Certainly the champion, Azuma Nelson, is no stranger to toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting. He loves it. So we could see a very explosive first round. The referee is Adios Torres. Out of Mexico, he does not take part in the scoring. The scoring on the 10-point must system handled by the three judges. Lou Filippo from California, Dave Moretti of Nevada, and Jose Juan of Mexico. There's a mandatory eight, no standing eight, three knockdown rule wave. The bell does not save the fighter except in the final round. Defending his WBC featherweight crown. They had some problems clearing the ring, and now we're underway. And Azuma opening up with the combination. Nelson told us yesterday that he would like a fast knockout as a message to Barry McGuigan. Down the road, that would be a very attractive fight. Azuma Nelson and Barry McGuigan in a unification bout. Well, that is if uh, Azuma gets by Danilo Cabrera. Danilo Cabrera is fighting at the very outset of this, completely different from what he said in his corner said. He said they wanted to go right to him, and right now he's turned into an unaccustomed role for him, which is the back pedal and box. Not a wonderful strategy when you're not used to doing it. What about the size of this ring? It is huge. It's 22 by 24, and it is huge. It looks like the lobby of Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Azuma beginning to find the range of short, chopping, right hand. Cabrera holding his gloves. Gray up high, and he's fighting scared. He's fighting tentative here. It's not the same kid that went in with Barry McGuigan. He's got to throw a few punches to get himself feeling that he can punch hard and with impunity. Not 
for the Red and Black. This is round one. And now Cabrera back pedaling. Cabrera starting to get some of those first round jitters out of the way. That tenseness that he had that uh, rendered him incapable of fighting back all of a sudden is disappearing as he's starting to land some punches. Azuma just letting him throw this. It's not landing on anything but elbows and gloves. Azuma's got him cornered. Danilo's got to know how to get out of there. Zuma Nelson on the right, Danilo Cabrera on the left. Nelson, the first African to win the featherweight title since Hogan Kid Massey of Nigeria did it in 1957. At the end of the first round, some intimidating attempts by Danilo Cabrera, who had some words for Azuma Nelson, and Nelson just laughed it off, mainly because he can't understand Spanish. <laughs> Azuma Nelson just so wound up like a spring when he throws, he throws such hard punches. Cabrera's flailing away there, but he's hitting mostly the gloves of the champion Azuma Nelson. See, all of that was gloves. More gloves. And a couple of hot dogs are moved by Nelson. Here in the third round. 
Cabrera might have a cut lip that's on the outside here. on the midway point. Round three. Azuma Nelson waiting for his spot. And Nelson slipping the punches of Cabrera. Cabrera getting down to business. He's playing a dangerous game. He's playing blow by blow, and he's matching Azuma Nelson, but neither one have da damaged each other. There has been precious little to do for the referee. No clinches, no dirty fighting. Everything has been straight up and down. In contrast to what we saw in the Rosario Camacho bout, and Austin Mercati is under fire. We'll be uh, chatting about that during the course of the fight that will follow. Good right hand by Cabrera. And Nelson looking to get down to business with that chucky right hand. Well, that really turned on Azuma Nelson. Another good right hand by Cabrera on Nelson. Oiga, tienen que mirar la ejerción. 
That ancient old man in the corner wisely said, don't look at me in the corner. Look at that guy across the way. He pointed at someone else. Said, That's the guy you got to look at. Don't look at me. And here comes the Zuma Nelson out for round five. The Zuma Nelson, the son of a tailor, began fighting at the age of nine in his native Ghana, represented his country in international competition. He was 50 and two as an amateur and began his professional career in December of 1979. And Emo Cabrera from the Dominican Republic learned to fight on the tough streets of the uh, Dominican, grew up in a small town by the name of Esperanza. Which would cut the legs of Cabrera. Although I believe 
in this heat, he will do that by himself. By running that much, he's already slowing down. He is just won't be able to walk after a while. That's a flashing right hand by Nelson, set up by two beautiful little hooks. Coming up later here on Sports World, another look at Hector Camacho defending his WBC lightweight crown against Edwin Rosario, battle of two native Puerto Ricans. Interesting bout last week at the Garden. Interesting looks from Azuma Nelson. Azuma has been enjoying himself. He came back from that last round virtually laughing into the corner. Look at the way he walked up. Now, you, can you remember anybody doing that in the last 10 or 15 years? Just as Joe Walker used to walk all over the place, but usually away from the fighter, not too hard. in the sixth round. Provided that this is the seventh round, he had said that he will knock out Cabrera before the seventh round. And words of a summation and wisdom from Billy Brazil, he said, you're the champ, and that's what he is on this afternoon. 27-year-old Azuma Nelson out of Ghana, record of 23 and 1, 17 by knockout. His last fight in February won by a majority decision over Marcus Villasana back in October of 85 at about telecast here on NBC. He stopped Pat Caldell in one over in Great Britain. And Cabrera with combinations looking to step it up. And again, backpedal. Azuma is just timing him. This guy's run, 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 stop, three punch combination, run, 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 stop, three punch, and he, Azuma's just catching everything on his elbows and gloves, but every once in a while, he leads just as the other guy is going. One of those will land flush. along the road. Well, this will answer the age-old question, can a man walking fast catch a man running fast backwards? Finally 
marches now, does Danilo Cabrera, but the relentless Azuma Nelson does, and he's after him again. In fact, Cabrera lined up in the corner on several occasions, but has not been able to land with that powerful right. Azuma is very economic when it comes to his punches. Zuma has been instructed to go more to the uppercut. This round, I think he's thrown more than the entire fight. Apparently, Billy Provac sees something that we don't see because he has been trying to land that uppercut. Off his start, Danilo Cabrera was in danger of returning to the Mr. Nobody tag, but for the last two or three rounds, he's tried mightily hard to stave off. Cabrera 
took a needless battering last few minutes of that round because uh, accepting for that exceptionally brave referee, that should not have continued for those last few minutes. Nelson's corner was screaming to stop the fight, and they were right. It should have been stopped. Uh, we can only hope that that doesn't do uh, the damage it looked like it was doing on Cabrera. Let's take another look at the uh, knockout. And the official time is 2.31 of round 10. Cabrera, a battered fighter, has no reflexes. That punch right there, what does, that punch is not necessary. And neither were the preceding 20 or 30 directly landed punches by Azuma Nob. Azuma Nelson, 27-year-old from Ghana. With the knockout punch, after wearing it on Cabrera down the last couple of rounds, and now the official announcement, as we said, 231 of round number 10. Fight Dr. will be chatting with Franco, the WBC featherweight champ, Azuma Nelson, in just a moment, and stay tuned to NBC Sports World. Hector Macho Camacho and Edwin Rosario. The fight that took place at the Garden last week, and you'll see it right here. Here we go. 12 rounds 